we want to integrate this expression, look at each term individually. So looking at the first one, we have 4x, and then you add 1 to the power, so 3 plus 1 is 4, and divide by that new power, so I'm dividing by 4. And in this case, this 4 and 4 just cancels out. On to the next term, so again, we've got 4x, add 1 to the power, in this case 2 plus 1 is 3, divide by that new power, which is 3. We can't simplify this, that's already as simplified as it gets. Let's try the last one. Add 1 to the power, so minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2, and then divide by that new power, which is minus 2. Don't forget to add C, and that's your final answer. So what I really love about this video is that the creator is taking her time to emphasize the notation, because if you really want to do well on your next test, we all know that perfect practice makes perfect, and that's the key to being successful in the AP Calculus course. Now, I work with hundreds of students every year, and the biggest problem that I see by far is that they're not taking their homework seriously, or they're not writing out all of their steps. So if you have a big test, and if you're the student that can always do well on every Everything but your test is probably because you're not practicing your homework as if it's the test. Follow me for more AP Calculus content just like this. And if you thought this video was helpful, share it with a friend.